just because like we are kind of dogging Lamar Jackson or I'm dogging Lamar Jackson, but is it the coaching aspect? Like, has he never been forced to develop into a whole quarterback because Jim Harbaugh has kind of catered to his needs and catered to like his wants? Like, do you think, let's say Lamar Jackson does not sign a long-term deal with the Baltimore Ravens and he goes somewhere like, um, let's say the Green Bay Packers, right? which I don't think would ever happen, but let's just say that happens. La, 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 Mar Jack to, to the Green Bay Packers next season. Does he all of a sudden become kind of, of like an Aaron Rodgers type quarterback because they're forcing him to be a quarterback and not a running back? I I don't think so. I, I think John Harbaugh has really put his has altered his game planning for that. I think that I think John Harbaugh has been a consummate professional and, and has tried to, to help his team win by, by knowing the limitations of his quarterback. So I think that if you gave him another quarterback that, that might help. I mean, I don't know who that other quarterback would be at this point. Does it have to be through the draft? I mean, are you getting somebody in free agency? I mean, are, are you going to try to talk to, uh, I mean, I don't know. Are you going to try to talk to Aaron Rodgers to bring him there for, for a year or two after this year? Um, you know, I don't think he would want to go play in Baltimore, but I mean, who else, who else are you going to bring over to Baltimore? I, I, I don't think that there's very many free agents out there. Um, I mean, maybe you could trade for Russell Wilson. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> maybe, Maybe you could do that, but I mean, I just, I don't, uh, I don't know. I, I, I don't know what you do if you're Baltimore, because again, you're winning football games. You're going to be, you're going to be what the 19th, 20th overall pick, you know, so you're not going to get a very good quarterback, especially not in this year's draft. And if you don't sign Lamar, what do you do at the quarterback position? I don't even know who's their backup. Um, I, I am not a hundred percent sure, but it, I like I'd like I know last year it was, it was that guy from Ohio State, right? But I think he's with the uh, uh, Cardinals now I'm for some reason right now. Um, but it's Tyler Huntley. Yeah, there you right. go. yeah, Tyler Huntley. Which, which don't you remember last year when uh, Lamar Jackson went down for those couple games? Tyler Huntley looked a lot better than Lamar Jackson in that offense. So, um, I yeah, wonder. I mean- I wonder, did Harbaugh win Lamar Jackson that MVP by catering to to his needs and coaching out of his weaknesses? Like maybe maybe it's just been a great coaching job to even have Lamar Jackson in the in the NFL still. Yeah, I mean, I it, yeah, it's I, it's really tough to tell right now. Um, it really is, but I, I'm I'm starting to start to agree with you about Lamar Jackson and, and, and him not being the guy. I really for checking out that man hour clip. If you're interested in the next video, click the link right here. Of course, subscribe right here, and always join us Monday through Friday, 8 p.m. East Coast time, right here where you're watching this clip. And as always, Man Hour Nation.